Are you making a move into the Austin area and you're taking a look at Georgetown, Texas? That's what I'm here to talk about today. I'm gonna to give you the top five reasons people are moving to Georgetown, Texas, right outside of Austin. And then I'm gonna give you some reasons that people don't wanna to move to Georgetown. So let's take a little journey today and talk about Georgetown, Texas. So Georgetown is located north of Austin. If you're in Austin downtown and you head north and you go past Pflugerville and you go past Round Rock, you're going to hit Georgetown on your way up to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Definitely not quite that far, but it's definitely outside of north of Austin. And Georgetown it is its own small historical town and now it just runs right into all the suburbs like many of the other suburbs do but it's a historical town. It was recently named one of the fastest growing towns with a population over 50,000. There's currently roughly 76,000 people living in Georgetown and it's still continuing to grow as all of the Austin Metro is growing. And so let's jump in and talk a little bit about Georgetown. Before we do, my channel is Austin, Texas Area Living. Please subscribe, we put out videos every week and we cover everything about different areas to live in, in Austin, around Austin, cost of living, deep dives into specific areas. So subscribe and you'll get notified when we have more. Please also like and comment on this video. Tell me what you think about Georgetown. Tell me if I've missed any of the pros of living in Georgetown or if there's reasons you don't wanna live in Georgetown. So let's go ahead and get started. The first reason that people love Georgetown, whether they're living there or not, is its historic, charming downtown. And this is just one of those classic downtowns in Texas that you get, and they have kind of maintained it really well. It's a square downtown, so you have in the central, the city hall, and then four blocks around the downtown, and then there's some shops off of that big square too. And so people love to go walk around the square, eat at restaurants in the square, visit the shops in the square. There's a central library right off of the square. I've taken classes there. It is just kind of the central hub for Georgetown and it's really quaint, it's really charming. Um, so it's a great place and people love that feel. It feels like old Texas. And so the downtown is amazing, definitely worth a visit. Even if you don't move to Georgetown, definitely visit the downtown square. People love it and that's the first reason people fall in love with Georgetown, Texas. Okay, the second thing people look at and the reason they love Georgetown is the affordability, especially when it comes to housing options. You know, there's not gonna be that much difference between a price of a loaf of bread in Georgetown or the price of a loaf of bread in Austin, but the housing definitely does make a big difference. Georgetown is located in Williamson County. Currently there's 755 homes for sale in Georgetown right now. And the price range ranges from about 300,000 to 1.2 million. And so big price range, I would say the median price point is right around that $400,000 range, but the whole gamut. There's some really well-developed and well-established communities in the Georgetown area. There's a Sun City, which is an over 55 community. A lot of retirees go there, and that does kind of slant the demographics of the population toward a little bit higher on the retiree side. But on the flip side, we also have a lot of younger professionals moving into that area, as there are still a lot of new developments in Georgetown. So you get a wide range, um, and you get a wide range of when houses were built. In downtown, you have some really old, historic, charming homes and then you move out and you have some homes that were built in the 80s and 90s and then like i said you have new development so you have a huge range of homes in that area you also have a neighborhood called terra vista which is a golf community and kind of a master planned community you have a neighborhood called berry creek as well so lots of really great planned out neighborhoods one thing about georgetown i like is you can find houses on larger lots so if you want just a little slice of land, a little slice of Texas, um, it's totally doable in Georgetown. I know there's a neighborhood that I've driven through quite a bit and you see deer walking through the neighborhood. So it feels like you're a little bit further out from the city and, um, and you can get that at an affordable price. So you're not gonna be stretched really high as if you were in 
you know, downtown Austin, South Austin, Central Austin, East Austin, the prices there are really high for the amount of property that you'll get. So that's definitely one reason that people pick Georgetown. It's just a little more spread out, larger homes, and the variety of homes that you can choose from. The third reason people choose Georgetown, and this is all over Austin, and it just extends out into Georgetown, is the outdoor spaces. So uniquely in Georgetown, you have Lake Georgetown, which has 27 miles of hiking around it um, and parks. You have Blue Hole, and then you have Berry Springs, Parks and Preserve. So lots of outdoor spaces, and those outdoor spaces are not only great for exercise, but they also give you that sense of community. You can be around other people on the nice spring or fall day, even sometimes in summer. And so those outdoor spaces really make Georgetown a lovely place to live. The fourth reason that people choose Georgetown are jobs. And so Austin has a ton of new business, as does all of Texas, all, all these businesses pouring in and coming into Texas. And Georgetown is no different. Some of the jobs that are coming in right now, Samsung is about to open in Taylor, Texas. So that's definitely within commuting distance to Georgetown. We also have Tesla, it's quite a bit further south off of Highway 130, which is a toll road that does run through Georgetown, but it would probably be a 45 minute commute into the Tesla Gigafactory, but definitely doable. We have Apple, which is in Austin and Round Rock, um, North Austin, and so that's definitely commutable. Dell Computers in Round Rock, but lots of companies that are coming in as the bigger companies are coming in, a lot of the smaller companies are coming in as well. And so Georgetown is good. You're gonna have a little further commute time because it is pretty far north, but it's definitely still doable and a lot of people do it. The fifth reason that people choose Georgetown is the quality of life. And this is gonna kind of cover a whole gamut of topics. Um, like I mentioned, you have retirees going to Sun City and you have the golf communities. And then you have a lot of young professionals that are working at these jobs. And so it's a very diverse kind of mixed age community as far as ages go. Um, you have lots of restaurants, local restaurants, as well as chain restaurants. You have your own shopping. You know, everything's gonna be a little bit smaller. You're not gonna have the giant Super Target and giant HEB, which you do in kind of Round Rock and some of those other suburbs. But you have your own set of shopping and then if you wanna drive over into North Round Rock, you can get to Ikea and the giant HEB and Targets and things like that but you have everything you need there. And so it's really nice quality of life. You don't have to leave that often if you don't want to. So along with all of the amenities and the different types of people living in the area, you have a lot of schools to choose from. So you'll wanna check out thegreatschools.org or some of the other sites that have school ratings and do your research. It's not the same neighborhood by neighborhood, but there are a lot of top quality schools and that is one reason that people move into the Georgetown area. And then the last reason that people pick Georgetown is just the sense of community. I've already mentioned, you know, the town square is definitely a gathering place for community. There'll be like pop-up stores, little festivals. I did a little scavenger hunt on the downtown square of Georgetown not too long ago with my kids. And so you have that sense of community there in the square. And then also around all the natural areas that I mentioned, like Georgetown, Blue Hole, and you'll have picnics in the park and people swimming. Um, and so overall, you know, with the wide range of ages that live there, just an overall really good sense of community. And it is its own town. And so you get that sense of, you know, we belong to this small town, even though you have the bustling, vibrant city of Austin right next door, you kind of have that smaller Georgetown feel. And it gives you a good sense of community. So that is my top five reasons. Let's jump into a few cons or reasons people don't like Georgetown. And I'll go ahead and kick that off. The number one is just the traffic. So as I mentioned from downtown, you're going, you know, Austin, Pflugerville, Round Rock, Georgetown, if you're on I-35. And I-35 can become a nightmare, depending on if it's a holiday, a Friday afternoon, if there's a wreck, if there's construction, they're starting to widen I-35 in places and that's your major corridor. You also have 130, which is out on the east side, and it's nice, it's a faster way to get down into Austin. You can drive, I think, 85 on it. 
Um, so less traffic, although that area is starting to grow and pick up as Hutto develops and Taylor and Tesla's over there and all that stuff on the east side. So just thinking about commute times and, and the traffic, that's something you'll want to think about if you do decide to go into Georgetown and your place of work is not that close. And then the second reason people don't want to move to Georgetown, and I already mentioned this, it can be a pro or a con, is it's got that small town feel. Even though it's a town of 70,000, 75,000, um, it does still feel like a small town. And if that's not why you're moving into the Austin area, then there's plenty of other places that'll get you closer into the city of Austin. So that might be just something you wanna consider if you're looking at moving to Georgetown. I would love to help you with your choice. I help people all day, every day with their choice and where they wanna live in the Austin area as they relocate, whether you're renting or buying feel free to reach out to us, Hutchison Property Group. You can find us on Google, call us there, um, send us a text, whatever you prefer, and I'd love to help you. Thanks, bye.